Hi everyone, I'm Robert DeLorenison, pilot, and uh, today I'm flying from Nagpur, India, over to Malaysia, and uh, it's been quite a long flight so far. I'm uh, at seven and a half hours, and I probably have another two, two and a half to go. So the flight's taking a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated, in part due to some weather um, and some vectoring I've had. So uh, I've leaned the engine out a little bit, actually quite a bit, and uh, right now I'm burning about 14.8 gallons per hour as opposed to my normal 21 to 22. So that's extending my range out quite a bit here. And uh, the weather's been kind of interesting because I'm right up at 23,000, which is about as high as I want to take the plane because the turbochargers get pretty hot. And uh, I'm just skimming the top of the cloud layer. I'll show you some video here in a second. But um, interesting, you know, when you start doing your calculations and you realize the fuel's going to be a little bit tight, uh, the only thing you can really do, assuming you've got a tailwind, is to slow it down and sort of ride that current uh, through the air. And uh, this uh, reduction will get me probably another two and a half, three hours. I started with 245 gallons of Avgas at the price of uh, about the equivalent of gold, it seems, over here. But uh, right now I'm over the Straits of Malacca. And uh, here's the final phase of the flight. You can see flying over the uh, Malacca Strait. And I have about 443 nautical miles left to go and I'm picking along at about 176 knots. My tailwind has been uh, anywhere from 9 to about um, 15 for the entire flight which is nice going with the uh, air mass that's moving over the earth. But if you take a look outside this is kind of what I've been dealing with. Like I said I'm just about at the top of the cloud layer and in this part of the world, you start to run into thunderstorms. So I've been keeping an eye on my storm scope down here. And you can see there are no lightning strikes. And uh, I'll power up my radar and show you what it looks like as well. Okay, everybody, here's the radar. I have it set at 20 nautical miles, which is really about the limit on this one. If you go out much further, it doesn't give you very good information. So the final consequence of slowing down is that I'll arrive later than I estimated and that will probably put me in after dark, which is not ideal because I'm a little bit tired after this long flight. Um, right now I'm almost at eight, out, 8 hours, so I'll land around 9, 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. But um, anyway, better to get there a little later than uh, push your fuel reserves any more than you absolutely have to. So that's excitement for the day, and um, look forward to talking to you guys later.